Hello everyone, I'm Lisa D'Amico, the curator of Come As You Are Virtual Art Exhibit, hosted by the Cultural Alliance of Western Connecticut. And I have the wonderful pleasure of speaking to Solasta McIntyre Etheridge about your brilliant piece in the show. It's one of the few photographs. Yes. And it, it really speaks volumes. I would love to know Give us, you know, the backstory on it. Yeah, so the backstory is I took that photo um, late in the morning after uh, going on a date with someone. It was kind of early on in my um, kind of like queerness exploration and really coming into myself and my body and my identity and um, after majority of my life being so um, disconnected from essential parts of myself. And um, uh, yeah, so I took this picture of myself in my car uh, when I was about to head back home. And um, it was in San Francisco where I lived for uh, quite a long time. I just relocated back to home uh, in New York, in Westchester County. And um, in San Francisco at that time, it's like, you can see all the beautiful city lights and there's nice shadows and the moon was, it was a full moon that night. And um, that is kind of the, the backstory of that photo, just kind of an intimate moment with myself after kind of having some big milestones um, in getting to know myself better. The title of this piece is Love Your Shadows. And it's, it's a beautiful title. And I really recommend ev to everyone listening, please see Celeste's piece and read what she's written. It will move you. It moved me. And did you come to those, to those thoughts during, before, or after you took the photo? Um, after I took the photo. That's great. Do you, are, do you consider yourself a photographer? You know, I don't. I mean, uh, I did a lot of like photography, like growing up and um, I'm actually a, a, like a trained dancer and that has been my main um, artistic style for the majority of my life. And since pandemic started, um, a lot of my performance work really took a side space and I was actually really grateful for that so I've been really again remembering parts of myself that I completely forgot about or lost for me which include a lot of the, the visual arts including photography and video and, and painting so i am just been getting back into that so it's like weird to be like oh photographer I'm like wow I should really you know integrate that more into my being and own it. You should because what I I love the I love the, the the dance between dark and light in your photograph, but what really struck me immediately was the composition, the way you have you know the figure not dead center. It is and the light is not dead. Center. It's 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 a very clever, interesting, engaging way of bringing in the viewer. Thank you. Yeah, my name, Solasa, actually means um, luminous in Scots Gaelic. Um, that's my paternal lineage. And a lot of my work, um, I'm also a psychotherapist. That's kind of my uh, main bread and butter, uh, is about helping folks to kind of hold the shadow and integrate it with the light. So I really like that photo because it plays with the light and the shadow and how to integrate all of that into one because both are always existing together at all times. Right. And I think when people see you, this piece, it's almost like a fill in the blank where it's, it's, it's almost like the beginning of a story. And, and me, whether, whether I'm the curator or the art appreciator, whatever role I'm playing, yeah, it, it, it starts something off, it's very cerebral. It starts something off in, in your head. And even though I read all your texts and I loved it, it didn't interfere with how 
I saw your piece and how I interpret it. I cannot tell you how much I love it because it's so bold and strong without being overwhelming. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Oh, <laughs> I, I appreciate you. appreciate your work. I, again, strongly recommend everybody see Solasta's piece. Go to CAWCT.org, but also follow Solasta. You will go on a journey of just of emotion and it's so deep and enriching. Thank, thank you. No, thank you for being you. <laughs>